Um, in the science of mind, we don't teach people what to think. I think that Ernest Holmes was very clear in his understanding. He wanted to teach, teach people how to think in a creative way because the universe that we live in is responding to our thinking all the time. So you are absolutely free to think what you want, but know that there are no free thoughts, that all thought has consequence. And why I, what I mean by this is that all thought is always creating form at some level. So we don't always see the manifestation of that form immediately. Like I say, things tend to cook in consciousness for a long time before they ultimately show up out here on the outer plane. 